Hi, Regina Edwards with Edwards Family Law. I wanted to do a quick video to give you some insight on how you can help fill out your financial affidavits. They are required in every family law case in Georgia where someone is requesting support, either alimony or child support. So you've got to do it. It's a pain in the behind, but here we go. So we do have instructions here. This is a Google Sheet stock, so you can just access it online. So the instructions are pretty clear, but I wanted to do a quick run through. Leave the top part blank. You enter your name, your spouse's name, the name of the children, the year your child was born, and who that person, who that child resides with. Same thing if you have other children under the age of 18. They sometimes can be factored into alimony or child support considerations, even if they are not child of this particular marriage or union. Do not touch any gray boxes. Here is where you fill out your income. So if your income is this amount, you just enter it here. And as you can see, it, edit, it, it, it automatically populates above. So make sure you go through all of the categories and you add in your expenses here and the income here because you don't want to miss anything because that's one of the biggest complaints on when you get to trial if you have actually excluded something from your income even if it is accidental. Go through all of your assets, include whether or not it's the separate asset of that person. I just have husband and wife here as an example for each client. I customize it so it's going to have the party's name. So this could be separate asset of Bob and separate asset of Jim. So I just customize it, but this is just an example. So put yes, no, or I don't know for all of the assets. Okay, I'll list all of your assets. And then you have to list the monthly expenses. And this definitely factors into the support because the court needs to know whether or not you can afford the support that someone is requesting or whether or not if you're requesting the support, this helps the court to determine what you need in terms of the, your expenses. So make sure you get all of your expenses correct. It is on a monthly basis. So if you pay any of these bills annually, like HOA, divide it by 12 and then put the number here. Put all of your pets, expenses, automobile, any other expenses, children's expenses if you get kids, insurance, and then debts. Put in who you owe the money to, the name on the account, the balance due in the monthly payment. Again, the gray boxes will add everything up for you. If you got a business, you have to fill out all of these categories here. If you have more than one business, we'll insert some more rows for you. So it takes a very short amount of time to explain. It will take you some time to fill out. So make sure you take your time and do it carefully because this document really does control a lot of the financial decisions that the court makes. If you have any questions, obviously we're available anytime to answer them. Have a great day.